Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of the Book of Unwritten Tales with me, Proxy Fish. This is a point and click adventure that's been in my library for years and I've failed to play it. So, for my love of point and click adventures, I thought I'd start off in one of these. I uh, set up a game to get my settings right, so let's uh, go for it with a new one. Chapter 1 Prologue. Our world is at war. Oh. Only the old can remember a time without fear, without bloodshed. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could gain a decisive advantage. Only now is there an end in sight. Who would ever have thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to put an end to this madness? And I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions. Not deep in some dark dungeon, nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. No, I found it in an old book. I only hope that luck has not abandoned us. What's happened to Beetle and the Archmage's men? Doesn't he know how... Then, you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist, adventurer, and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Archwitch Mortroga. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your feeble-minded servant was on the way to that damned magical trickster Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. After all, what's likely to happen? Oh well, we're several days away from the wildlands. It's just as safe here as in the elf burrow. Oh, then? If it was left up to them, I'd just be spending the whole day... Tells me she's not on the Elf Burrow or in the Elf Burrow. One spirited leap later. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> and geek off the dragon. You can move either using the left mouse button, move her to the dragon's leg. Got it. To take a look at an object, click it with the left mouse button. Now try it on the rope over on the right. One end of the rope is knotted tightly. It is. I could use it to swing onto the other side of the leg. Let's swing away then. Whee! Nicely done. Examine the cage and speak to the gremlin. The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's harness. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. Let's speak to him. Hey! Hello! You there? Who are you? I'm a wood elf who's going to save the day for you. Call me Ivo. Or the question is, in fact, who are you and why were you kidnapped? Let Let's be polite. My name is. Never mind. There's oh. something you have to do for. Me. <laughs> I'm talking it about. Care? It's not just for me. It's for the Alliance. I've no particular interest in the Alliance. I don't care. This has to do with everyone. Okay. Professor McGuffin's the name. I'm an archaeologist. Hello. I've discovered something. Something important. You're a grandpa. And they want it? Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. Well, then. Tell me, what have you discovered? Let me guess. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination? You 
may scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay then, I'll release you and let you mortals carry on playing at war. No! We've got no time to lose. You, you must take this ring. Oh, take it you. to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastone, on the coast. He will send someone to my house. The book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. He must get it to safety. And what about you? I will win you as much time as I can. I can endure torture for hours, oh, days if noble. need be. The pain, the humiliation, the agony of body and soul. Okay. Um, sounds like a plan. Shouldn't I perhaps really be setting you free? Or you are a true hero. Farewell. Uh, sounds like a okay, plan. Okay, so let's do it. Are you mad? <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay. As long as there's a chance of being rescued, I'm not going to sacrifice myself to Mortroga. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. Oops. Just like my old bones. But it's not a bad idea. Oh, On the way to Mortroga's fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there, and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. That was a joke. The chances of that working are about a million to one. I can't see any other way to escape. Fighting is not an option. <sighs> Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be... Uh, here, if you need me. <laughs> of course you No will. idea what's going on here. I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. No problem. Let's uh, see what we've got. Oh, look at the load. Transport dragons can move great loads, like these barrels, wooden posts, and this big crate. I don't think that this stuff will help me a whole lot. No, I don't suppose it will. What else have we got? This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. Oh, this is too tight. I won't be able to undo this just using my hands. But if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Perhaps you could. Uh, what else have we got around here? Anything? Anything down here? You have what? Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? Uh, I can't open the cage with just my bare hands. The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. That's what Splendid I thought. Splendid idea, but I don't have a knife. Then get your hands on one. The kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. Surely. I fear that could be true. Uh, what do you know about that the kidnapper king? with his troll? Who is he? The sorcerer. He's called Monkus. He's the son of the Archwitch Mortroga. The Archwitch? How did she know that you'd made such an important discovery? Beetle, my servant. I sent him on a secret mission to the Archmage. They must have caught him. Poor Beetle. Oh. Uh, how can such a heavily loaded dragon fly at all? Isn't it a trifle improbable that a 50-metre-long dragon with a pathetically small wingspan could be physically capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? You said it, How should sister. I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical scientist. I don't concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. I, however, find it illogical. Indeed. Then it must be magic. Ooh. Hmm. If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Very practical. You can explain everything like that. Something's flying that can't fly? Magic! Indeed. Uh, I'll carry I'll just on. carry on then. You wait here. Ah, uh, we better get up there then. Um, back this way? Up there. That's the way up onto the dragon's back. I can't reach the support strut. No. Uh, can you climb onto this bit? Or climb up here? This rope fastens the... Oh, we know this. Oh, this is too tight. I 
won't be able to undo this just using my hands. But if I had a knife or a... I know, I know. Hmm. What have we got here? Let's speak to him again. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? Be useful this time. If there I'm going go. to steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. Oh, thank you. A whip? It's always served me well. You could use it as a rope. Hint, you'll find the whip just as all other objects in the inventory. Move the mouse to the bottom edge of the screen to open the inventory. To examine an object in the inventory, click on it using the right mouse hand. Right mouse button. Hand, where did that come from? Cool, let's go on. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. Come this way, Ivo. Oh, there's our whip. A bull whip made of old leather. Looks as if it's seen a lot of action in its time. Indeed. Let's uh, use the sun here. Oh, nice work. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, nice reference. Let's go. What? Yes, yes, I was evil and beastly. Yes, I, I'll bring him with me, mother. Yes, yes, yes. I, I have to go. Why? I'm steering a dragon, remember? <laughs> you know, I'm not being curt with you. I, I, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll see you later. Love you too. Oh, isn't that sweet? She loves oh, his mother. by the gods, how I hate her. No, maybe not then. No. Not much longer, Mancus, not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hands. Whatever it is. But you is. have to be careful, Mancus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. Indeed. And you are talking to yourself. Better shut up. <laughs> there appears to be some truth in the Gremlin story. It's vital that I rescue him. It if is. I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the driver's cabin. Mm. I could it. really do with one of those swords, but I can't reach the stand without the sorcerer seeing me. Okay, uh... Anything else to examine around here? Oh! A thin wooden stick with the flag of the Shadow Army. The stick's been tied loosely to the railing. Okay. Take that. Got it. And the sorcerer hasn't noticed. Excellent. What was that? A wooden staff. A good two meter wooden stick. Flexible and quite strong. Excellent. Um, what else have we got around here? Uh, oh, an old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit if the dragon crash lands. Good idea. Search through the carton. There are a few moth-eaten blankets in the box, a bit of dried meat covered in white mould, mm. and a blue and red potion, and... Hmm. A line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. Excellent. I'll take it with me. Uh, hint, you can combine objects in the inventory by selecting an object and then clicking with it on another object. Okay. I'll knot the line to the tip of the stick, and hey presto, I've got a fishing rod. Excellent. Um, fishing rod? Do we just try and get a sword then? Uh, fish for a sword. Okay, let's do it. Oh! Oh, she was good at that. That was elegant. Indeed. Uh, I suppose we go back down now. Um, oh, no. I could cut the rope with a sword. You can. I should warn MacGuffin that we're in business. Perhaps he might change his mind. This is true. MacGuffin? Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? 
so what is this discovery of yours then? A great treasure? A weapon? I can't tell you. Too dangerous. And actually, well, I don't have it either. What do you mean? I found a clue in an old book as to where the artifact... where it is hidden. Artifact? It? This is getting more and more cliché. Cliché? The struggle of good against evil is never cliché. Indeed. You mentioned your secret cellar. Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. Um, I found a sword. Now I can cut you loose at any time. I've got a sword and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. That's are you this. really sure? I am. He is. But if I don't survive or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. Oh. That would be a real unexpected adventure. Isn't this a strange coincidence? A young pretty elf walks through the woods unarmed and is suddenly caught up in an adventure. Don't talk, just cut me free! Okay then, let's do it. The right moment is close. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin. that jump. Well, there we go, the official start. Let's see where it takes us now. Hey, Wilbur, working hard at it, saving the world. I, I'm, I'm almost done, you. I could see, beavering away, eh? <laughs> what were you this time? A knight riding high on his horse? Or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> hey, hero, I've got a job for you. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. That rat's got it in for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. You're still my helper. And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> I need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. You do that. I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see. We'll see. Probably because there's a rat right there. What have we got here? Look at the wooden box. A large crate. It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. Okay then. Open it. Let's see. 
Not a chance. I'll never get this crate open with my bare hands. Okay, then. Uh, the rat. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. I'm sure it does. Uh, we've got the stove. Dwarfs are excellent stonemasons. That fireplace is proof. That's a pretty cool stove. Look at that. I love it. Oh, look at this. Carved dwarves up here. Very cool. What else have we got? We can go outside. What's this? Crowbar. A dwarf sized crowbar. Excellent. So it's pretty big. Can we take it? Great. Use it on the crate. Let's see. Ooh. What's that? Ah, the user manual. The user manual. An X100 house robot. A practical helper for home and garden. It's off. Looks like there's no power. Uh, let's see the instructions then. Wood elvish. Succubushish. Succubushish. Here we are. Dwarven. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot. The latest in house robot technology. Feed the X100 the stinking remains of your disgusting existence, but absolutely no broccoli or <laughs> Brussels sprouts. I like it. Hmm. Rats. There. Rat care. Rats breeding. Ah, rat hunted. Rat hunted. In order to hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X100 with DNA from your oh. target. Okay, then so we need some DNA carriers DNA. include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. Okay, so first I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course, rat DNA. Mm -hmm. Finally, a simple rat trap. Uh, so, what else have we got around here? Look at the pipe. The pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system, which runs through the whole bastion. Mm, intrigued. Let's speak to the master brewer. Hello, master brewer, sir. Aye, aye, Wilbur. Aye, aye. Uh, how are the Is everything okay going? with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. You initially think, hmm, that tastes good, but then, bam, the finish is all off. Earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. Of course not. <laughs> you are an alcoholic, sir. So, you want me to send a robot on a rat hunt? So I'm supposed to uncreate the robot and send it after the rat? Definitely. Shouldn't be too difficult for you, being a gnome and all. You've got the right kind of hands for all that technical stuff. Indeed. I'm not really all that into technology. I'm more interested in the mysterious powers of magic. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sure there's some instructions in the crate. Shouldn't be that difficult for Mr. Mage. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you want me to send... Oh, I've already asked him that. Where are the other dwarves? Where are the other dwarves, anyway? All away fighting, you know that. There's been nobody here except me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. If you weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long ago. <laughs> oh, I have to keep working. I'll take care of the robot then, and the rat. Aye, go on then. What have we got over here? Look at the chair. That's the master brewer's favourite spot. He likes to relax okay. there in the evenings. Uh, to the kitchen. Ooh, look at this. Uh, look at the apparatus. The master brewer says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. Oh, moonshine. 
Look at the cooking pot. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. Uh, take it. Ah, mutant slime. Nice. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. Indeed. Uh, can we... There is no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. <laughs> slime can be really evil. Bad slime. Fair enough. Oh, it may. Uh, dirty A pottery? pile of dirty dishes. The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. Uh, look at the stove. The stove isn't used much. So this morning the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. Beer sausages. Uh, look at a tin coffee, coffee pot. pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. Uh, take it. Hmm, the coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. Okay, we've got a we've got an empty coffee pot. Uh what else have we got? Uh, look out. The sun the is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. Oh, we better hurry up then. Look at the net. Oh no. A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Oh. Although I've never seen any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. Mm, maybe it's a hen. Oh, a beard nut. It's probably his beard nut. Kitchen waste. I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine, The Last Three Weeks by Wilbur Weathervane. Let's take it. Ugh. Can we, uh... Oh, there's more. Look at This the pump can be used to pump water up from deep in the mountain. Although I wouldn't bet on it still working. Sh shall we try? I thought so. Broken. Okay. The dwarves have a lot of work ahead of them when they get back. If they come back. Uh, rubbish? The rubbish bin is almost overflowing. Presumably it's my job to empty it, but... Oh well. You've been slacking. Take it. Uh, hmm. Can we do it? I'm not sure we can actually do anything together with these. Hmm. There must be something else. Look at the food. Dwarven fast food. But I'm not hungry. Um, I think we've looked at... Mm. I think we've uh, looked at everything in here. Come on then. There's a note on the wall. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. Oh, it nice. shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. Okay. Uh, uh, this way? That seems to be the rat hole where the little beast plans its raids. Okay, ex examine it. The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. Oh, DNA! Ooh, I'll take that. Oh, rat fur. Feed the robot I with the I have to the power rat the thing fur. up first. Uh, power it up. Uh, oh yeah, the kitchen waste. Let's see how it likes this. Aha! Oh, it that's works. That's a cool robot. Um, the fur. And now the fur, a source of rat DNA. <laughs> uh oh. 
That is quite cool. Oh, and it's oh. gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Uh, thanks, robot. Uh, uh, what to do now? Should we speak to him again? Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Oh. Aye, aye, Wilbur. Aye, aye. Um, there's an evil slime living in the kitchen. Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. <laughs> well, doesn't that bother you? Well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> Ew, too true, too true. Uh, the rat has made his play. The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> can I call it a day now? Course you can. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, uh, oh wait, hang on. Have we still not won the war yet? What's the news from the front? The Alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. Neither side has the advantage. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow the Shadow Army plunders Auenheim. Today, we take care of Garrett the Throat Slitter, and tomorrow, they nobble Bella Sunnythor. At the moment, we've got Mortroga's fortress under siege, the old Arch Witch. Not getting anywhere fast, though. It could still be years before either side gets the upper hand. Hopefully we do. Hopefully. Aye, let's hope so. <laughs> You're a very jolly man. It must be very lonely here without the other dwarves. Do you miss the other dwarves a lot? Aye, there's not much going on here now, that's for sure. In the old days, it was packed and rowdy every night. Stone Chomper and Ball in the Bear, Peppo and Talon, <laughs> he could beat anyone at finger wrestling. And then, of course, there was Billant, our leader with his golden tankard. Now I've only got you here. You're not exactly a party animal. Maybe the other dwarves will come back soon. Aye, and then they'll tell their tales of adventure, the times they've had and what they've been through. And me, I can only listen on. Indeed. I'd like to hear their stories, seeing as though I'm not with them myself. Bye. See you later, lad. That was abrupt. Um, have we seen everything? Let's go, let's go then. Have we seen everything? I don't want to miss anything. Let's go outside. And another day ends. And, as usual, I didn't save any princesses, or fight any dragons, or hunt any orcs. You hunted a rat. I chased a rat off. Yeah. And I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. It's going to take more than that before my statue stands next to Knight Tilo in the Aww. Hall of Heroes. But I'm going to make it one day. You will. Um, oh. That perspective. Nice. Hello, McGuffin. Hey, you, boy, you've got to get me out of here. Quickly, please. I was abducted. An elf freed me. They want. You've got to believe me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Listen, boy. It's too late! You see this ring? You've got another ring? It's the key! Take it to the human arts mage in the town of Seastone. You understand? How but many rings do you have? All of our fates depend on it! Oh. Poor little no. The small gnome has a. Oh, uh, dear, dear, nobody's going to believe this. There's no way I'll make it down to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. I should ask the Master Brewer for help. Or Grandad. 
He fought for the Alliance. Yes. Uh, mm, do we look at the entrance to the Gnome Hall? I think... Look at the stretched out tarpaulin. The tarps are supposed to offer the stonemasons a little protection. They have to be pretty tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. I'm sure. Uh, gnome Hall. That's the entrance to my family's gnome hall. We've been living here for generations. Let's go in then. Look at the strange ball. Hey, my mechanical flying fish Nemo. How did you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister really, but uh, I did watch. Oh, let's take it then. Oh, no. Oh, look at that. Very graceful. Very elegant. It still works. A solid example of norm technology, if I do say so myself. Indeed. Look at the chair. A chair? Oh, well, okay then. Uh, go down. Look at the plants. Those are my mum's plants. She grows a lot of that green stuff. She keeps trying to genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. She's a clever woman. Look at the levers. Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. Oh, very nice. Uh, oh, we can go into different rooms. Use the bedroom lever. Use the lever for Maggie's room. Use the lever for the gnome room. Use the kitchen lever. Uh, bedroom? That's the lever for my parents' bedroom. Oh. I can't use it until they get back. Oh, okay. Um, That's the lever for my little sister's bedroom. I'm not touching that. Fair enough. She builds combat robots, and she kind of hinted that she knows how to protect her privacy. She sounds awesome. No room? This is my very cool room. Excellent. Look at your rucksack. My old gnome scout rucksack. Pretty tough, that. But somehow I always had the feeling it could have been a little larger. Hmm. Uh... Oh, you teddy bear. Is there nothing else in here? Oh, tennis racket. My old tennis racket, although I was never very good. Take it. The cat cut is missing. What did I use that for? Um, oh, you can take the rucksack too. I wonder if putting small bags and pouches in it would increase the rucksack's capacity. It probably would. Uh kitchen lever That's our cool. kitchen That's very convenient. Look at the grain mill. Our flour mill. Mother makes sure we eat a healthy diet. One day we'll all be big and strong comparatively. Comparatively. Uh, Master Merlin's bottle. antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. If only I could cast spells like Merlin, or any other household cleaner for that matter. Let's take it. A uh, knife block. Mum hid the knives as a precaution after Grandad's knife throwing training classes last year. She doesn't trust us anymore. Oh my god, your Grandad sounds awesome. Let's take it. Uh, open the kitchen cupboard. At the vial. Hmm, a pale blue glowing liquid. Something tells me it's probably not good for you. Let's take it. My mum wrote super fertilizer on it. Probably one of her genetic experiments. Probably. Um, anything else in here? Oh, we can take the. Oh, I can't reach that. Fair enough. Should we go down? Look at the picture first. That's my family. Right now, just Grandad and I are holding down the fort. The others are all at a technology trade show down south. My dad is a mechanic and a awesome. physicist. 
He primarily works on uh, things. Mother is just a whole wife and geneticist. A whole wife. The baby is my little sister, Sydney. I think she'll be a researcher too. She once doubled her baby phone's data transfer rate using nothing but a rattle and a rubber ball. Ingenious. My other little sister is Maggie, my parents' pride and joy. She mainly concentrates on robotics, combat robots to be exact. Grandad is a war veteran and conducts secret military research, whenever Dad lets him in the workshop, that is. Looks like I'm the proverbial exception to the rule. Looks like I'd rather it. go out into the world and become a mage, a hero like Knight Tilo. But someone has to look after Grandad and the Master Brewer. I'm more of a local, unsung hero. And wear it with pride. Uh, look at the apparatus. One of my dad's inventions. He calls it a time measurometer. It spits the day into two periods of 12 hours each and shows which hour we are currently in. Nice, a time measurometer. I think I'll wear one of those. And down we go. Let's go. Oh, very nice. I think it needs a bit of oil though. <gasps> Grandad! Hold! Who's there? Hi, Grandad. It's me. I doubt it. What's <laughs> the password? Um. Nuclear first strike? Nuclear first strike, sir. Hmm, correct. What Ooh. do you want? A uh. gremlin gave me this ring. He said it's very important. He said the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage as quickly as possible. A ring? Have you checked it for contamination? Con... con um... What? For curses, hexes, poison? No. I, uh... What am I talking about? Of course you have. No one would accept a ring from a gremlin and not check it for curses. Uh -oh. Dangerous little blight as those gremlins. You shouldn't feed them after midnight, you know. The, uh, the, the gremlin said this ring could decide the course of the entire war. Decide the course of the war? That would be... Where is this gremlin? He's been kidnapped. He barely had time to give me this ring. It should be taken to the Archmage as quickly as possible. The Archmage? Hmm, yes, yes. He'd know what to do. He would? This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've trained it for. Is. Uh... This is the hour in which a stout youngster becomes an adult. The hour of glory. The hour of fame. Hour, hour. But, what, what do you mean, stout? Does everyone know what they have to do? No. <laughs> right, men, let it be so. I like these gnomes. Um, what is going on? Uh, should we talk to him a bit more? Grandad? Call me Colonel. <laughs> just what exactly are we to do now, Colonel Grandad? Colonel We've Grandad. We've just discussed that. You get the equipment, I'll sort out the means of transport. Equipment for what? Exactly. For what? Oh, look at his leg. For your journey to the town of the humans, of course. You need to pay more attention, my boy. I'm supposed to... I, I thought someone else... Who? I very much doubt you'll find anyone else here who's prepared to look death in the eye. This is your chance to be a tragic hero, my boy. A painful loss for the Alliance. Don't you want to be a hero? Sure, I I'd like to do something exciting, but I'm not sure I'm ready to try being a... Uh... Try? There is no try, only do. This is your chance. You'll be a hero, and I'll show everyone that this old gnome is still good for something. That's what you so, want, well, So, here's the plan. You get yourself some good gear, I'll sort out the means of transport. All right. I can have a look around, but no promises. No promises. Uh, let's be more specific. About my equipment, what was all that stuff I need? About my equipment? Yes? Have you got everything? I don't know. What exactly should I take? Let me think. You need a helmet. Mm, you can fight without legs, but you can't fight without a head. Oh, so without true. Without legs. And you need a map of the area. 
Reconnaissance is everything. We are living in the information age. Oh, so I need a map, map and a helmet. Before. Got it. And then, of course, you need a parachute. Better to be safe than sorry. I suppose um, so. Just why I mean a parachute? Just a precaution. Uh... Um, what do you think this ring is all about? Then? This ring, do you really think it could end the war? I don't know if there's anything that can end this war. The gremlin said it would change all our fates. Maybe it's a powerful magic ring. We are simply soldiers, my boy. We fight when we are told to. Don't worry yourself about anything else. Okay. Sounds sensible. It is. Uh, just how exactly am I supposed to get into the human's town? Um, I'm supposed to travel to a human town in your machine, right? Absolutely. It's the quickest way. And the safest? Sounds ominous. Absolutely. It's the quickest way. No. Uh, the Archmage of the Humans, who is that? Do you know the Archmage? Have you ever met him? I've never met him. After all, he's a great leader and I'm just a simple, highly decorated <laughs> gnome colonel. But I've heard lots about him. He's a powerful mage, of course. Of he's course. an advisor to the king. And he's our most powerful alchemist and chief of the secret service. He lives in a tower down by the sea in Seastone. Of course, being the important man he is, he's always away on business. I hope he's there. I always wanted to meet a real mage. If he's not Aww. there, you'll have to wait for him or go and look for him. You must only give the ring to the archmage in person, you hear me? No one else. Give me your word of honor. I will. If the ring really is important, then it shouldn't be our fault if it lands in the mm. wrong hands. Listen to Colonel Grandad. Okay, Grandad. okay. I swear I'll give it to the Archmage personally. Uh, then I'll keep on looking. I'll go look for the rest of my gear. You do that. I've got enough to do here. But remember, never look a Medusa in the eye and never look at anyone on the underground. Right. Okay. Uh, well, I think this is quite a long episode, so I'll call it here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.